if I want to go in and I want to touch up just small little skin imperfections here and there, bumps, lines, you know, moles, things like that, I can go in and use the spot healing brush. And if I go and click on the spot healing brush right here, up in the control bar, you'll also notice that we have a little checkbox that says sample all layers. We don't have the drop down menu saying the current layer and below. This allows us to go in and sample all the layers. So if we had many layers compositing this person's face and body, I'd want to sample all those and put them on that clone layer. With the spot healing brush, I go in and I pick a brush that's going to be a little bit larger than the spots that I want to go ahead and fix. I'll zoom in here really close on her forehead. Zoom out just a bit. I'm going to go ahead and make a brush that's a little bit larger than the areas that I want to go ahead and basically just spot over. If I click on this right here using the proximity match here in my control bar, I click on this mole, you'll see it turns black, and then when I let go it disappears. The size of the brush determines how much information is going to be picked up around that and it basically blends it in or heals it right in. Okay. I kind of call this the Neosporin brush because you put it on there and just like television, it's gone. You know, I mean, just like that. And that's how it is. So the spot healing brush is great when you go in and just literally go over all the spots and click on them. What the spot healing brush isn't great for is if you start getting toward the edges of things or your, heal or your spot brush is too big. If you make your spot brush too big and you start picking up different areas here, what happens is, is it starts picking up too much proximity and then you get weird shadow or shading or you get you know, these bizarre little cloning attributes here. It's best on fairly continuous tone surfaces, so don't use a large brush. Use a brush that's a little bit larger than what you're trying to go ahead and cover up. And it's very easy to go through and spot an image and just click all over the place and just clean up all these little dots and spots as you go. So I can do that, and I can just click on that, and it cleans it up very, very nicely. It also works great. We've got this one piece of hair that runs right through her head right there. And people would spend a lot of time picking up the clone stamp tool and running over the whole thing. Um, I'm just going to go, and I'm just going to take my spot healing brush, no larger than, you know, just a little bit over the hair, and I can just run and go over the hair. And most people think, okay, if I start the hair, I can't let go of the mouse till I'm done. Well, no, I mean, you can click and go and just ride on along. And as we do that, you'll see that it gets rid of that hair very nicely, blends it all in great, and it's gone. That simple. It's great for getting, you know, dust and scratches out of a picture. It's great for removing wires, things like that, that are in like a, a you know, nice little shot of a view. And we can go in and we can clean up all those stray little hairs that way. This is a great way to do it. It's also a great way to kind of lessen wrinkles, things like that. One thing that I can't do, though, is I can't set the opacity of this particular tool. Okay? When I'm doing the spot healing brush, it's either going to heal or it's not going to heal. So I don't have any type of opacity in this control bar here. The only opacity that I have is controlling the opacity of the layer that it's on. So if you truly want to make sure that you have everything editable, you can put all your spot healing on a completely separate layer. So you can kind of tone that back using the opacity slider right here in your layers palette. In this particular case, I do want all those spots and all those little fine little hairs to go away. So the spot healing brush allows us to go in very quick cleanup without having to use a clone stamp tool and pick up the right areas. This goes in and does a proximity match, figures what's around those areas there, and goes ahead and matches it very nicely.